All right, Alex Pereira, the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, is moving up to the light heavyweight, to 205 pounds. As we know, he just got viciously knocked out in round two against the current middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya. What a performance and what a way to close it out, okay? It was 3-1 going into that fight. Izzy knocked him out. You would think there's going to be a rubber match. Everybody thinks there should be a rubber match. He says, my next fight will be at 205 pounds. Yeah, you heard right. My next fight will be at 205. I think I did my work at 185 and now I'm feeling good. I'm going to go to 205. Like I told you, when I'm feeling good, I will go up. This will be something natural. And now I think it is. My next opponent, I can't tell you, but I will keep you updated here on my channel. But as well, I want to make one thing clear. The division, 185. Five, I always made weight. A lot of people had doubts, but I always fulfilled my obligation. But now it's the moment to go up to the next division. This will be better for me. Now, it's a shock. He says he can make weight. Okay. It's one apiece in the UFC against these guys. In my opinion, the rubber match should happen. Now, of course, you know, it's his choice. He wants to go up to 205 and try, you know, different challenges, try and become the champion there, and probably see if Izzy moves up to 205 to challenge him there. But it is a head scratcher. Listen, Izzy is an absolute global megastar, okay? You went out, you beat him in round five last time. You became the champ. You became a global sensation himself, the champion of the world in the UFC. I mean, titles don't get much more prestigious. It's right there. All he has to do is campaign for it and he could get that fight. So I don't understand it. There's a lot of people in the sport that feel the same way. Daniel Cormier feels the same way. Henry Cejudo, even though he's the king of cringe, he speaks a lot of sense and he knows the sport. He said if Paul Tampa had made some noise, he could get that fight. And I certainly think he should go up and have the rubber match. Everyone wants to see it because it's not finished. Now, I know from Israel's perspective, it's done. He said, I'm closing that chapter. And I understand that. He did it. He knocked him out. He wants to move on. He wants to have fresh challenges. But the reality is they all want a piece. And history has shown us anytime you are one on one, anytime it's tied in title fights, there's always going to be the rubber match. Look at Daniel Cormier, Steve Miochi. They just announced the rubber match of Juliana Pena and Amanda Nunes. There's been countless others. We just had the rubber match of Leon Edwards and Kamara Usman because it makes sense. And I do believe the appetite would be there. Those two fights were very, very exciting. You know, there was a lot of tension, a lot of build-up, a lot of drama, a personal story between the two of them. You know, Izzy's mocking Alex's kid. Pereira could say, I'm coming back to justify my son to get revenge for him, all the rest of it. The potential for storylines is endless. It really is. And the fight will be phenomenal. But Pereira is free to do whatever he wants. Listen, Regarding Izzy and the stuff about his son, he said, all of you saw the provocation from Adesanya after the fight. He acts as if he won against me three times, but it's not like this. But I understand, or try to understand the happiness that he has. It was his dream to win against me one time. And he did that. But let's see what will be his behavior. I'm going up to light heavyweight because it's a good option for me. But I'm sure if I would stay in this division, I could fight with him directly. Let's see how he behaves. I'm going up because it's my option. I talk to my team and they think as well that it's a great option for me. And listen, it is a great option for him. For sure it is. Lots of great matchups. But I want to see the final chapter, the final countdown, the rubber match to have it all settled once and for all. Because they can both claim to have beaten each other one time each in the UFC. And Pereira can claim to have beaten him three out of four. So it ain't done. It ain't over in my opinion. Pereira continued to say, so I'm going up. I'm not going up because I can't make the weight anymore. I will always be able to make 185. Let's see his behavior. He's behaving like this because Dana White spoke after my fight about my weight. And it seems like he's thinking, oh, this guy will never make weight again. I can provoke him because he won't do anything. I'm sure if I insisted on fighting him immediately, the UFC and my promoters will make it happen. So we will see how Adesanya will behave now and here and after. I make this very clear to all of you. So strong words there is calling out Izzy to a certain degree, saying it's on him if he wants the rubber match to happen again. But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen anytime soon. He's going up to 205. So let's have a look at Pereira at 205. Listen, he's big enough. He's tall enough. He's strong enough. He certainly has the punch power. That's for damn sure. I mean, the man's a wrecking machine on the feet. But can he stay on the feet? Izzy isn't the best wrestler, and I say that with respect. He took him down last time when he fought the first time in the UFC. Round three, took him down, kind of had his way with him. Now, there is some strong grapplers, but right now at 205, it's kind of ruled 
by strikers for the most part. Obviously, right now, the king of the 205 division, Jamal Hill. Striker first, yes, against Glover Teixeira. Had incredible takedown defense. But he's not a guy that's going to be going out and doing blast doubles or single legs, high crotches, slamming someone. So that would be a... <laughs> what a fight that would be. On the feet, I would absolutely love to see that. Then we've got Yuri Pahaska, who is kind of the guy that vacated the belt. He's going to fight Jamal next. But even against Yuri, I think that would be a... What a fight that would be. I'm coming! And you've got to think that Alex Pereira at 205 will be even better than what he was at 185. Those hard weight cuts, and look at the size of Pereira. That was a tough weight cut every time he did it. They drain you. They sap you. They affect your stamina. They affect your recovery. They affect the training camp because you can't eat carbohydrates and you can't recover from one session to the next. You get tired as the fights go on. And more importantly, they affect your ability to take a punch. And what I'll do now is... So I'm sucking an orange, have an espresso to give me a little bit of energy and then uh, put the sweatsuit on and go for a walk in the sun. I'll look like an absolute weirdo uh, walking through the centre of Sydney in a sweatsuit in the beautiful sunshine but uh, it's going to be worth it so weight cut is good. So all of that will be eradicated at 205, it will be a bigger, better, stronger, more stamina fitter, higher output and can take a better shot. And he better be able to take a better shot at 205 because they do hit harder. Let's go through some of the other matchups. Jan Blachowicz. Jan Blachowicz beat Izzy. How did he do it? Well, he beat him on the feet for the most part, but he took him down in rounds four and five, okay? He could take Pereira down. That would be one if I was Pereira. I'd kind of take a sidestep on that one. We've got Anthony Smith. Anthony Smith, my brother. He's an incredible grappler. He can get the job done everywhere. That would be a great fight. I'd love to see it. But the grappling needs work in that regard. Who else? Nikita Krilov is a double leg monster. Vulcan Uzdemir, he called him out. He called him out already on social media. Uh, that would be a fun one. Basically, what I'm saying is I'm not going to go through the entire, the entirety of the light heavyweight division. There's a lot of good potential matchups for Alex Pereira there, okay? But I don't think it's the right call. I mean, listen, he's free to do whatever he wants. Israel Adesanya. I'm not going to say he'll be relieved because that sounds disrespectful. It sounds like he's trying to duck him, but he'll be happy to move on and face new challenges, other challenges. And Robert Whittaker's probably fuming. Robert Whittaker was probably like, I hope Pereira wins so he can then take on Pereira, use the rest and take him down, get the victory, get the belt, and then rematch Izzy and defend it. But that isn't happening, okay? Pereira's free to do whatever he wants. He did come out though and say, hey, where's all these light heavyweights that were calling me out before? All of a sudden, they've gone very, very quiet. You know, Pereira is a formidable force, okay? If you can't take him down, you are basically up shit quick because he's good, he's fast, he's deadly, he's dangerous, and he's a nasty son of a bitch, okay? But the reality is he's coming back off a vicious knockout. I mean, that knockout was vicious. And they always say, can you come back from knockouts like that? That's what Leon said about Kamara Usman. And I thought, oh, of course he can. Kamaru was the pound for pound number one. He wasn't the same in the rubber match. That, not, that doesn't go for everyone. I hate to talk about myself, but it's relevant. When I fought Dan Henderson, I was able to come back from that. Although there was, there was some psychological damage there. I was a little nervous. I was a little tentative. I was a little freaked out at the situation. But still, Pereira, tremendous kickboxer. He's got so much experience. He's a former 185 pound champ. He will be a solid addition to the 205 pound division. Who knows? potentially a future champion, but the wrestling defense certainly needs some work. Whatever you do, all the best, Paul Tampa Herder. Thank you for everything at 185. All the best at your endeavors at 205. And of course, Israel Adesanya, all the best to you in the middleweight division as well. So there it is, Alex Pereira. What do you think? What are you? I'm disappointed just as a fan. Not because I'm backing Pereira, not because I'm backing Izzy, because I'm a fan of this sport and I really enjoyed those two matches and I wanted to see it closed out once and for all. You can make a case that the kickboxing fights don't really matter. Do you know what I mean? It's inside the octagon, this is mixed martial arts, that's a different sport. The one apiece, I'm gutted, I'm kind of I'm disappointed as a fan, that's all, that's all. But listen, fair play to both of them, incredible fighters. Subscribe, ring the bell, let me know what you think about that in the comment section. As you can see, I'm in my hotel room here in Kansas City, beautiful place. I'm commentating Max Holloway taking on Arnold Allen tomorrow. What a fight that is. For a preview of that fight, I did a video yesterday. Find that on the channel, check it out. Subscribe, ring the bell, as I already said. You guys take care, see you soon.